Wow, another day, another amazing place. We're right now at a lake. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's amazing. Gives you a view over the entire Alps. Vanessa probably knows the name of it. Do you know the name of it? Of course I do. What is it? I told you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's Staffelsee. Staffel. Ah, okay. The famous Staffelsee. I've actually heard about this one already. Probably because Vanessa mentioned it. <laughs> and we're actually here waiting and meeting two friends from Munich. We're like meeting in the middle between Munich and our hotel. It's close enough for everyone just like an hour of driving and just yeah hang out and probably enjoy the view maybe even walk around the lake yes, and maybe it's, uh, one and a half hours uh one and a half hours we, we we can we can do maybe they bring in nika i think okay so... the dog they have a really cute dog and as long as we're not doing the boat thing i'm fine well another day but we're gonna do it no yes we no. are <laughs> There are some really odd rules here. No dogs, that's fine. No smoking, that's fine. Strangulationsgefahr, that's already weird. Strangulation is like choking. Choking danger due to wearing a scarf or like a necklace or stuff like that. I don't want to know what happened here that they had to put a sign up like that. And the next one, no helmets. What do you think happened here? I don't know, but look over there is Mika. Hello. Hi, Mika. Na? We're trying to get the dog into the water. Mika. You did, Chris. You might Hi. remember them. Oktoberfest? Yes. Yes, that, that was crazy a long time ago. No Corona, but this year, unfortunately not. So we're having our own Oktoberfest uh, going for a walk. <laughs> it's a good alternative. Yes. yes. Maybe some beer at the end. I got the biggest possible beer. Uh, everyone else, everyone else is complaining about the time. What is it? Half past one. It's a little early for beer, but <laughs> it's Germany. It's, it's fine. It's part it's of the culture. Fitchin. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Was really great hanging out with them and like just seeing again other people like covid makes everything a lot like stranger so i really enjoy that like just talking with other people and chris is also a music producer so we had a lot to talk about and the girls did also talk a lot i don't know what about well everything girly stuff <laughs> could get even better vanessa has like a surprise for me it's my parents and my sister surprise. First, uh, we have to drive back. But I think it's more responsible if you drive. I had this huge beer. All right. Like You can drink and drive in Germany to a certain extent, but that beer was huge. So it's your turn. All right. Huge thank you to Vanessa's family for inviting me and like providing me with an amazing hour of relaxation and doing absolutely nothing, which is really hard for me. I feel fresh again, really fresh. This was very, very needed. And since it's already quite late and there is obviously no filming in the spa area, I'll just uh, continue with a quick little Q&A. What movie scared you the most when you were young? Definitely Jurassic Park. I watched it, although I was way too young to be allowed to watch it. And I always thought that dinosaur will like break through the floor and just eat and swallow me and the entire bat. Do you want children? Yes. What brings you more money, streams or merch? Streams, 100%. Your favorite color, if I had to pick, I would probably go with blue or teal. Also this color, I kind of like. What time should you wake up every morning to live life to the fullest? 
I don't know, like I just say just sleep enough to be active enough and when in the day doesn't really matter. I usually just wake up whenever I feel like and go to bed whenever I feel like. Usually this doesn't leave me with a lot of sleep, but just doing what I feel like. Worst drug experience. That's Vanessa with a hair dryer. Don't mind it. A dog lover, a question mark. Yes, especially the one you saw today, very cute. But me, myself, owning a dog, no. Like, too time consuming. And I don't like to pick up poop, so no. How often do you shave your beard? Um, like, once per week, and I just trim it. Like, I never fully shave it. I just look stupid whenever I do. How much of your work does not consist of making music? I'd say like I try to have like four to six hours of music per music making day two hours of business stuff sometimes four and then the rest is dedicated to making these videos are you and Vanessa married no what else would you do if you didn't become a music producer <sighs> I don't know as a kid I had like the obvious stuff like police officer fireman Garbage truck man. I loved how they were like spinning the garbage barrels like in Germany They're round and you can like Twist them and then the truck of them that loads up the garbage and everything and they were allowed to Stand on the back of the car and drive with it. That was fascinating but Right now my age I would I don't know Maybe something with like movies making movies or Stuff like that. I love filming. What's your hummus recipe? Um, chickpeas, a little bit of water, a little bit of lemon juice, a lot of garlic, and cumin, and trina, like the sesame paste. And like the, the ratios of all of these, I don't know. I usually just do it just on the fly and taste it. How long are you and Vanessa together? 10 years almost. Are you going to play Cyberpunk 2077? I will try. I want to play it, but I don't know if I will have the time. Best piece of relationship advice you can give? I don't know. <laughs> I'll ask Vanessa when, once she, she's done in the bathroom. What's your real name? You can just Google it. There's like a Wikipedia page all about me, everything you need to know. Do you have other hobbies? Something you did as a kid and want to go back to? Hobbies at the moment, not really. I'm just working and my work is my hobby. So I'm just having a hobby, filming maybe. It's like not work to me and something I would love to go back as a kid. I mean, I love skateboarding, but I'm too old for it and too bad. And it's like, just hurts whenever you fail and bail. So uh, flying, flying that little drone, like the first person view drone, that's fun, a lot of fun. What sports do you play? I used to play hockey, field hockey. I used to play basketball. I used to box for really long. But as of right now, just gym and going for a run every once in a while. What do you think about the new iPhone? I'm getting one, definitely. I'm just not sure which one. They're all so close. It's kind of like there is no big difference between all of them. Leonard is asking, ready for Monday? Yes, I'm ready. Leonard is coming back, helping me, working with me in the office. I can't wait. Favorite food? Um hummus, falafel, pita, salad, that kind of stuff. I just love it. How do you handle mental stress, anxiety, and self-doubt? Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Like in the beginning when I started making music, every week I was this close to quitting. So what really helped me was always thinking back on everything I've invested because there are years and years of dedication learning and trying to advance and then thinking again about giving up and where I would be if I would give up and that everything I've done previously is just wasted everything if you train and learn something for five six years and then give up it's all gone my mom used to tell me like it's it's like a big rock and you hit it every day that's your hard work 
And if you give up and walk away, maybe someone else just goes there, hits it once and it breaks. And you don't want to be that stupid guy that walks away one hit away from actually making it. So just keep on fighting. Eventually things will start moving. Anyways, I think this concludes the q and I'll get ready, wait for Vanessa, and then the big final moment of the evening. Oh, you look like you're ready for romantic dinner. I am. There's just one last question someone asked yeah. about, what was it? Relationship advice, the best. I think you have to accept the other, even with the flaws. <laughs> uh, what kind of flaws? <laughs> well, you don't have any, but I'm okay. thinking of okay. other couples. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Next up, uh, romantic, like a, a really romantic. Like, can you ensure that it's really a romantic dinner and I no hope dinner? So. I hope we get a good table today. Yes, me too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, I think that's it. Since this is a real romantic dinner, no filming. Yes. Yeah.